He was a household name in the 1930s and 40s. His biographer says he was up there with the greats. So it's something of a mystery that Frank Sue has been all but forgotten from football history. During his lifetime, he was recognised to be an equal of Stanley Matthews, Tommy Lawton, Billy Wright, Joe Mercer and Stan Mortensen. Anyone who knows about football in that era knows that they are the greats. Frank Sue was with Stanley Matthews at Stoke City. He also played alongside him for England wearing the number six. During the war, he joined the RAF and played as a guest player for other clubs, including Chelsea, Brentford and Millwall. But Frank Su was half Chinese, the first non-white player to represent England. His family believe he's been overlooked because of his ethnicity. Growing up, it was the one thing that we all sort of clung on to. Yeah, our great uncle played football for England, did yours. It's a little bit frustrating when you're the grand niece, the great niece of a man who played for England. And he's the first Asian player to play for the, for the national side and yet he doesn't have the recognition. The more I learned about him and his life and his achievements throughout his career, I feel he's an important figure in his own right, irrespective of his ethnic background. He was actually one of the most important figures in 20th century football history, in my opinion. Frank Sue spent the rest of his career after the war coaching, mostly in Scandinavia. He died in 1991, largely unknown in his home country. Susan Gardner hopes her account of his life story will get him the recognition he deserves. Alice Bandukravi, BBC London News.